it. This is going to be another one of my equestrian empties videos. These are similar to my beauty empties, which I do on my beauty channel. I haven't done them in a few months on there, but if you're interested, I have some videos on that channel. But for equestrian empties, basically I show you the products that I have used up that are horsey related or equestrian related. And I let you know my thoughts on them, whether or not I'd repurchase them and stuff like that. The first thing I have is a pack of the Equate Baby Wipes. I use these for so many different things. I use them as like an in-between washing the mare's teats. I'm starting to get tipsy used to that, but Sassy's really good about it and Sassy tends to get pretty gunky between her teats. So, so I'll go on with these and then other times I will wash with soap and water, but sometimes just to do it quickly, I will use baby wipes. I also use it to clean their nostrils if they get really disgusting. Also clean my hands at the barn because you know when you're at the barn and you get a ton of gross things on your hands, these are just super helpful for that. And I already repurchased some. Next, I have two bags of treats and they are both low sugar or not a ton of sugar at least in all of them. So the first one I have are these Stanley Appleberry Cookie Cubes. These smell so good. I haven't met a horse that dislikes these. Both of my horses really like them. They love them actually. And they're kind of like little like alfalfa cubes, but in treat form, kind of like that. They're more of like a, I guess, natural type of treat, more natural than like a stud muffin. And I really like them. I will likely repurchase them in the future, but I'm trying to get through my treat stash, which I'm almost through. And then the other one that I have is the Nutri-Good Low Sugar Snacks. I actually did just rebuy these because I like these for training treats. They're small enough and they're low sugar and I find that most horses like them. Tipsy doesn't love these if she's distracted while I'm doing like groundwork, but she will eat them. And she does really enjoy them when she's not distracted, but sometimes she'll just like keep the treat in her mouth and then not eat it or spit it out. She's a bit weird, but love these. I always buy these. They are more expensive. They're like $11 for a bag of treats, but they are really tiny, so they last you a long time. Next, I have a supplement, and this is the Equinity, and this is just their 100 gram or 3.5 ounces. This is a smaller container, and this retails for like $30 for just this small container, I think. And then I think the 600 gram is what I currently have, and that one is more around like $100, I forget. But I have been absolutely loving this for Tipsy. Tipsy's feet were really crappy when she first came off the track and they still aren't great, especially her front feet. And my farrier has seen such a difference with her on the supplement. My barn owner also has her horse on the supplement when he had really crappy feet. His feet have improved dramatically on it and my farrier wants me to keep her on this. And it's not necessarily like a hoof supplement, but it does have amino acids in it and it just has been a really great supplement for Tipsy. And I also wouldn't mind putting Sassy on it eventually, but that might be a little bit expensive. I also went through a bottle of this FX Later Balsam or Leather Balm. This lasted me at least a year and I have absolutely loved this for my tack. It kept it super conditioned and soft. And I do have another one of these. This is super good. It's definitely very balmy and it works really well. Highly recommend it. Next, I have the Vetrolin Liniment. This is their invigorating liniment. This is a liquid and I like to dilute it in water, especially after a ride. This is especially helpful for Sassy because she is older. She likely has arthritis. She gets joint supplements and stuff like that. I will likely get her stifles injected at some point. I'm just waiting on quotes for that. But after a ride when she just did a more heavy flat ride or even just a light flat ride, I love to put this in a bucket and rub it all over her body with a sponge and you can just scrape it off and good to go. She feels great afterwards and she actually has a lot more like pep in her step after she gets the liniment on. Really great product. I've used it on Tipsy as well, but it's especially great for Sassy because she is older. Next, I have two of my favorite fly sprays, and this is the Nature's Defense Fly Spray. Sassy is very sensitive to fly sprays. This is the only one that doesn't give her hives that I've tried on her, so this is the only one I buy. It's more of like a natural one, so it doesn't smell as strong as like the Bronco one, but I use this on both of my horses, and I love it. It's a pretty affordable one, and I have a bottle at the barn right now, but Hopefully I won't have to use it anytime soon because the flies will hopefully die. <laughs> the rest of the products are all grooming or bathing items. So I have a detangler. This is the Equus Avocado Mist. 
And this is a conditioner and detangler. It is infused with avocado oil. Love this stuff. I already repurchased it. It doesn't have the silicones like Shoshin does. I still will use Shoshin, but more as like kind of like a last resort or not super often type of product. I use this all the time. I have a new bottle of it and really enjoy it. Then I also have a bottle of the Mane and Tail Detangler. It says spray on, friction free slip. It eliminates tangles and knots and conditions and fortifies the hair. I forget if this one has silicones. I also don't have my glasses on and I don't really feel like reading the packaging, but I do like the avocado mist a bit better than this one, but this also works great as well to detangle. The last two products are bath related. I have this Vetrolin Bath Ultra Hydrating Conditioning Shampoo. It smells similar to the Vetrolin Liniment, just not as strong. I love this. I didn't repurchase it. I tried something else, but this is really great for making the coat really nice and soft because it is conditioning and it's a shampoo. So it makes the coat really nice and soft. I really love this for the tail. It makes that really nice and soft and it just smells good. It is a really great shampoo. Would repurchase it again. And this is the last item for this Equestrian Empties video. And this is a rubber grooming mitt. I don't have the actual brand, but if you have a paint or just a horse that really gets dirty and it's really hard to get the dirt out, I would highly recommend a rubber grooming mitt for bathing. But this one just got ripped. It was a couple years old. So it just kept like falling off my hand. Absolutely love this for baths. It gets Sassy's dirt out of her butt because she just gets really disgusting. And especially on like her hind end, on the top of her butt. The rest of her body is still like gets dirty too, but her butt just holds dirt so much and <laughs> it's just frustrating. I already repurchased this, we'll continue to. So that is it for my Equestrian Empties video. I think this is maybe like the third or fourth one that I've done. They're not my most like highly viewed videos on my channel, but I do think they're fun to do and it's nice to recommend products or not recommend products, especially because you have a really good idea of how they perform because you finished it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I also have a beauty channel if you want to check it out. It is called Courtney K. I'll have it linked down below. Hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.